Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a hypnotic techno sound like this. So we're gonna recreate this from scratch and you're gonna learn all the rope on how to create a sound like this. As usual, the preset is available for free, the link in the description. This preset is from my wave table, Technobank 3. If you want to grab the bank, it's a great way to support me. I will put the link in the description as well. And yeah, let's get started. So first you need to set in mono and we're gonna select a complex waveform and we're gonna select the octave phase and bring the position to 100%. We got that and we're gonna apply some effects some modern so we're gonna wrap it at 100% i really love this warp because it adds really some bites to some of the wave table and that's exactly what we want then the fold we're gonna put around 20 percent this is something you can modulate and play later on with to make your sound evolve so it can change it's not a problem now we're gonna apply a low pass filter 12 db we're gonna choose the ms20 style and we're gonna bring the filter down because we want to open it fast so obviously now you don't hear nothing but we're gonna modulate this with an envelope but before that i'm just gonna set the amplitude envelope so you want something percussive so you want the attack at zero the sustain almost to the maximum and you can leave the gk and release as it is so to modulate the filter you're gonna click on it so this way it appears in the matrix and you're gonna modulate it with envelope to around 68 <laughs> percent all right now you need to shape this envelope and you want a very fast attack so zero millisecond and you want to bring down the sustain because you want something plucky and you can even bring down the decay around 200 milliseconds to have something very very sharp that's a parameter as well you can use to modulate along the track to add variation now we want to add a bit of excitement so we're gonna go to matrix and modulate the pitch with lfo by two semitone but that's a bit too much first things so leave in retrigger and unsync mode and leave sine wave as well and we're gonna put the rate around 8 earth which is kind of a vibrator and now we're gonna reduce the amount to have something a bit more subtle <laughs> Now again, it depends on your taste. And that's pretty much it about Wavetable. Now you want to add a bit of bite and grid to your sound. So we're gonna use amp that we're gonna use in boost mode, set the output in stereo, and we can leave the dry wet at 100%. Get something nice already. I'm just gonna adjust gain, bass, mid, treble to my taste. So, bit of gain, bit of bass boost. leave the present as it is and i'm just gonna reduce the volume a little bit to don't have a too loud output and yeah that's for our bite now we want to make things a bit louder and powerful so i'm just gonna grab saturator and put in hard cut mode and here again reduce the output to minus five and job is done now here's where things start to get interesting we're gonna add some nice modulation variations so we're gonna start with a chorus ensemble that you wanna live in classic we want to bring up the width to have a more stereo effect you can leave the dry weight at 50 percent it works well and we're gonna bring up the rate so the more you bring it the more excitement it adds so this again you can adjust to your taste i'm gonna leave around two hertz but I'm gonna crank up the amounts so you can really play with both rate and amount to adjust to the way you like and you can leave the feedback and the polarity this way now we want to add some flanger so basically what we want it's a very slow flanger movement so we're gonna put in flanger mode I'm gonna leave the dry weight 100% now so like this you can hear the effect better and we're gonna set the rate in Earth at 1.18 down the amount 78 percent and now we're gonna accentuate this effect with the feedback and we're gonna switch the polarity to make it a bit more nasal all 
right. So here the effect is very pronounced because the dry weight is at 50%. But these things basically we're gonna modulate it so it's even not gonna be that pronounced. So we're gonna click on the little arrow here. So this way we have access to the second LFO that we're gonna use to modulate. And we want a very slow LFO movement. So you want your LFO to be in hertz at a very slow rate around 11 hertz. <laughs> and 50% amount. So now I'm obviously not happy with the waveform and you need to choose the triangle analog and you're gonna see how it now change and make the movement. So then you can adjust the duty cycle and the phase, add a bit of Swiss. You don't need envelope follower. And in terms of dry weight, it's again, depends to what you says, I'm gonna go. Around 30%, I like around 30% because you still hear the main sound primarily, but you still hear a little bit as well, this kind of modulation, flangering over time. So that's nice. Now we're gonna add a bit of delay and we're gonna use echo. You can leave in sync and link, but we're gonna put the time at seven and maybe shift a little bit to the right and maybe a bit less dry wet. We want some stereo and now it's a bit messy. So we're gonna add the filter on the delay. So, so this way it gets less messy. So you want high pass filter around one kilohertz and half. Adding a bit of resonance. Let's say around 26. And the low pass filter runs 11 kilohertz. Maybe less resonance. Just adding a bit of movement and excitement with the echo. And finally, we're gonna add a bit of hybrid reverb just with the algorithm mode that we're gonna put in Shimer. Gonna reduce the decay. Reduce dry weight around 30%. You can leave size and dumping around 50%, that's fine. We don't want a pitch shimmer, but we do want the shimmer at 100%, but we also want the diffusion and some mods at 90% or so. Let me put the base in mono. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You got your sound. So obviously the MIDI pattern does a lot. So I'm gonna show it to you quickly, even though I will put the MIDI file as well with, but you have zero plus six and basically it's jumping between both. So you have once, two times up, one times down, one times up, two times down, one times up, two times down, one times up, and then one times down. And then after the pattern, it's uh, repeating over. So it creates a nice combination. All right, I hope you like it. You can grab the presets for free, the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe before to grab it. That helps to support the channel. If you wanna support me as well, you can grab the Technobank from where this present was from. And yeah, see you soon guys, bye-bye.